Imagine a weapon so smart it changed the rules of war for over 30 countries. This story does not start in America or Russia. It started with a small country named Israel. Israel needed a smart solution, not just a big one. What they built shocked the world. This is the story of the Spike Missile family, and its story is one of the most fascinating in modern military history. Hello, and welcome to War Texon. In this video, we're going deep into the story of the Spike Missile from Israel. We will break down exactly how it works, why it surprised so many experts, and how Israel created a tool that giant military powers felt they needed. This is a story of smart thinking, not just big power. So, what is the big deal? Why did this weapon from Israel get so much attention? The answer is control. Pure, simple, human control. Before weapons like the spike from Israel, many guided missiles were like throwing a perfect fastball. You aim, you fire, and you hope it hits. Once it leaves your hand, you can't change its path. It's locked in. But what if the target moves? What if you get new information at the last second? With the old way, you were out of luck. The engineers in Israel changed all that. They introduced a concept so powerful, it's now a gold standard. Fire, observe, and update. Let's break that down. Fire means the soldier launches the missile. Observe means he watches a live video feed from a camera right in the nose of the missile flying towards the target. He sees what the missile sees. And update means that at any moment he can make a change. He can nudge it left or right. He can pick a new target entirely. He can even tell it to fly over a target and then dive straight down on top of it, hitting its weakest armor. This is the heart of the revolution from Israel. It turned a dumb rocket into a smart partner. The soldier is no longer just a trigger puller. He's a pilot, guiding his weapon all the way to the finish line. This simple shift gave soldiers an incredible advantage. It meant they could engage enemies who were hiding. They could avoid hitting civilians by the target at the last moment. They could ensure a perfect hit every single time. This was the genius of the Israeli design. Now, let's talk about the family part. The Spike isn't just one missile, it's a whole series, like different models of the same famous car. Israel made a version for every situation. The Spike SR, for short range, is like a precision sniper rifle for infantry. A small team of two soldiers can carry it and use it to take out a tank from a few kilometers away. It's light, fast, and deadly. Then you have the Spike MR, for medium range. This one has a bit more reach and can be used from a vehicle or a tripod on the ground. Next is the Spike LR, for long range. This is where things get really interesting. This missile from Israel can travel over many kilometers, and the operator still has that live video feed, guiding it perfectly over hills and valleys. Then there's the Spike ER for extended range. This one goes even further, perfect for taking out high value targets from a very safe distance. And the king of them all is the Spike NLOS. NLOS stands for non line of sight. This is the biggest game changer from Israel. This missile can hit a target the soldier can't even see. Imagine a target over 25 kilometers away behind a mountain. With the Spike LOS, the soldier can fire the missile high into the air. The missile's camera sees over the mountain, beams the video back to the operator, and he flies it right down onto the target. It's like having a personal drone that can destroy anything you pointed at from dozens of miles away. This was a huge surprise that came from Israel. This modular family idea was another stroke of genius from Israel. A country doesn't need to buy five completely different weapon systems. They buy into the Spike family. The basic way you operate it, the basic technology, is the same across all models. A soldier trained to use the short-range Spike SR already understands about 80% of what he needs to know to fire the long-range Spike NLOS. This saves millions in training time and makes logistics getting the right parts and ammunition incredibly simple. This smart thinking helped Israel sell the system all over the world. 
But how does it all actually work? What's the magic inside the missile from Israel? Let's follow a typical mission with the Spike LR missile. A two-man team finds a good hidden position. They have their launcher, which is a long tube set up on a tripod. One soldier is the gunner. He has a control unit that looks like a small video game controller with a screen. They get word of an enemy tank moving into a village a few kilometers away. The tank is parked behind a building. With a traditional missile, hitting it would be impossible. But not for the spike from Israel. The gunner aims the launcher in the general direction of the target. He doesn't need a perfect lock. He just points and fires. The missile launches with a loud whoosh. It's in the air. Instantly, the screen on his control unit lights up. It's a crystal clear live video feed from the camera in the nose of the missile, flying towards the target. He sees what the missile sees, and he now flies the missile using a small thumbstick. He guides it towards the village. He sees the building the tank is hiding behind. Instead of flying straight into the building, he guides the missile to fly high above the village. He now has a bird's eye view. He spots the tank, looking like a small toy from his high angle. He then commands the missile to switch to a top attack mode. The missile stops, tips over, and dives straight down, aiming for the top of the tank's turret, where the armor is thinnest. A direct hit. The tank is destroyed. The entire mission, from launch to impact, took less than a minute, and the gunner had full control every single second. This is the power of the system from Israel. This top attack profile is another key reason the spike is so feared. Tanks are designed to be tough from the front and sides. Their top armor is much weaker. The spike from Israel is smart enough to always aim for this weak spot. Now let's talk about the camera. This isn't just any camera. It's an electro-optical and infrared seeker. That's a fancy way of saying it can see in two ways, like a normal camera in daylight and like a heat vision camera at night or through smoke or dust. This means the spike from Israel doesn't care about the time of day or bad weather. If a target gives off heat, and all vehicles and people do, the spike can see it. This 24-7 capability makes it a constant threat. The engineers in Israel made sure of that. Another incredible feature is lock-on after launch. Remember, the gunner doesn't need to see the target before he fires. He can fire the missile into a general area, and then while the missile's in the air, he can use its video feed to find and lock on to a target. This keeps the soldier safe. He can fire from complete cover without exposing himself to aim. This was a very smart idea from the designers in Israel. The versatility of the spike is perhaps its most impressive feature. This isn't a weapon just for soldiers on the ground. That same missile, with the same guidance system, can be launched from almost anywhere. This was a key goal for Israel. It can be mounted on a jeep, turning a light vehicle into a tank killer. It can be mounted on a heavy armored vehicle. It can be fitted to attack helicopters. A pilot can fire a spike and then hand off the control to a co-pilot who guides it to the target while the pilot flies away from danger. It can be installed on naval patrol boats to take out enemy ships or targets on the shore. It can even be used by special forces teams who parachute in behind enemy lines. This one system, many platforms approach was a massive shock to the global defense industry. Usually a missile for a helicopter is completely different from a missile for a boat. They have different controls, different parts, and require different training. With the spike from Israel, it's the same brain in different bodies. This saves countries a fortune and makes their forces much more flexible. This is why so many nations wanted to buy it from Israel. The story of the Spike's global success is a lesson in smart engineering. Israel isn't a huge country with a massive military budget. It had to be clever. It had to build weapons that were not just powerful, but also cost-effective, reliable, and easy to use. They focused on the soldier. They asked, what does the person in a real combat situation actually need? They need to be able to see what's happening. They need to be able to change their mind. They need to be safe. They need a weapon that works every time without complicated maintenance. The Spike family was the answer from Israel, and the world took notice. 
Countries in Europe, Asia, and the Americas saw the demonstrations and were amazed. They saw a missile that could do things their own expensive systems couldn't. They saw the live video feed and the pinpoint accuracy. One by one, they started buying it from Israel. Today, over 30 nations, including Germany, Italy, South Korea, and the United Kingdom, have the Spike missile in their arsenal. It's been used in real conflicts, proving its worth on the battlefield. This level of international trust is rare. It's the ultimate validation of the technology from Israel. The story doesn't end there. The Spike family continues to evolve in Israel. Newer versions have even longer ranges. They have better cameras that can see through rain and fog. They have improved data links that are harder for enemies to jam. The core idea, however, remains the same. Put a pair of eyes on the missile and give the control to a human. This partnership between man and machine has proven to be the future of precision. This partnership between man and machine has proven to be the future of precision warfare. Israel proved this idea works. The Spike missile family from Israel taught the world a crucial lesson. The most powerful weapon isn't always the biggest or the one with the largest explosion. The most powerful weapon is the one that is the smartest, the most adaptable, and the one that gives the soldier in the field the ultimate gift, the power of perfect decision-making, all the way to the target. It showed that with a brilliant idea and a focus on the user, even a small player can change the global game. Israel redefined what was possible and set a new bar that every other weapon system now has to meet. The story of the spike is the story of how smart thinking from Israel changed modern warfare forever. If you enjoyed this real and in-depth look at the spike missile family from Israel, and you want more simple, clear breakdowns of the technology shaping our world, then do us a favor. Like this video and subscribe to Wartech Zone. Hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our posts. Thanks for watching.